WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to the 2 p.m. update here at TFNN with me, David White. What do we have today? Well, we have a very light volume bounce. We've got some numbers in the morning. I think we're probably thinking about that. We also have some earnings after the bell tonight. I'll go through a handful of those, maybe a few tomorrow morning, too. Um, my thought, though, is there are some econ numbers coming out tomorrow morning, and we're kind of waiting um, and uh, I would say the other big part of the news out here today uh, is uh, the TLT, the bond fund. Uh, when we look at that, uh, we've got a, uh, a bounce right into what should be pretty severe resistance levels. And I also think that if anybody has a clue whatsoever uh, about interest rates in the next year, it seems ridiculously high at 110. Uh, so, yeah, I think everybody is betting, and I mean huge, making some huge bets uh, that the Fed caves next Wednesday. Um, I think that they're sadly mistaken, but uh, I've been wrong, and I'll be wrong before again. But uh, there's just not much up here to tell you that, Anything other than a short squeeze in the bond market's kind of going on. Uh, and or uh, we're going to have such a massive recession that the Fed's going to have to give up. I don't believe that. Um, I think that there's some things out there that are going to keep uh, inflation rates rather high through the first quarter. Uh, and, of course, uh, I think there's a little bit more going on here. And I think that's probably going to just be the earnings for the next maybe two quarters being significantly lower. Uh, a lot of whistling past the graveyard for many people in the market to see so many of these stocks come out in earnings. And unless they're already a dog, already been beat up and have huge short interest, they're not really getting much of a bounce. Um, as you said today, don't even have 6 billion shares now. We're about 700 million shares behind yesterday at this time. Be back in a minute for the show. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest